Hi everyone, in this lesson I'm going to talk to you about what is noticeably visually different in InDesign CC. And when you're looking here right away, you notice that it is a much darker than what you might be used to in older versions of InDesign. And the reason for this is that if you're using multiple programs across Adobe, we're now slowly getting back into all of the programs looking and feeling very similar. So many of the programs have switched to a dark interface, Photoshop, Illustrator, After Effects, Premiere, they all have this dark interface and InDesign was always left out of that change. Well, with InDesign CC, we now have a dark interface, but better yet, we have the option to completely control the look and feel of this interface for our own projects and preferences. So you'll see first and foremost, we have a very dark background and we have a dark menu structure here. So this works in many ways. Number one, it's going to severely enhance how you look at your projects. So if we go ahead and open up a project, I have one here that has a very kind of bright structure, but we're hitting a lot of grays here. And I did this on purpose because you want to see this in contrast. Now, if I hit W, we're going to look at this as we would work on our project. You can see the entire pasteboard here. So you can see the contrast that we have between this white and what we're working on here as far as our menu goes. We hit W to preview though, and all of a sudden we have this great contrast between our documents. So this dark menu structure really focuses your eye on what you're working on. And if you have a lot of bright colors, it's really going to enhance that. But again, you have the option to adjust this. So if we go to edit preferences and we head on over to our interface option, we have an appearance option up here. By default, it's set to medium dark. That way you can see right away what the new interface looks like when it's set to dark. But you have options here from light to dark. So you can even go darker, but you can also go lighter and go right back to what you might be used to with older versions of InDesign. So if that's really your preference and you like working in that format, you can go right back to it, no harm done. But if you really like your darker interface, you can keep that as well. And it really enhances things. I, pre I really prefer this dark interface, but it's entirely up to you. And you don't have to stick with the presets. You can have any percentage that you like in here just by dragging or clicking the slider around and you can have real dark all the way somewhere in between all the way to super light. It's entirely up to you with what you're comfortable with and it allows you to really customize this so that whatever you're working on has the biggest impact for you. Now the other option that you have is you can change this color. So if this gray isn't working for you in your preview mode, for example, these colors are very, very close. So I'm still not getting maybe the right contrast that I'm looking for. If we go down here to guides and pasteboard, we can change all of our colors from our defaults. And so a lot of times we just leave these defaults because it's easier or we forget that we even have the option to customize this. For example, the margins and my guides, I never change the colors, but you can if you want to. But right here, your preview background, you can change this to a gray if you like to go darker, see how it's starting to bring this out. Or you can even go to black if you like seeing your projects against this black background. So it's entirely up to you. And some projects you may want this dark and some you may not. So this is strictly preview though. We go back to our pasteboard and, and we're back to white. So when we're looking at our final piece, we can see that. We hit tab and all of a sudden we can see even more of our document and it's in its final form and glory. So it's a lot of fun to be able to customize this exactly how we want to. It's entirely up to us and you can have it as dark or as light as you want to. The other options that you have, and don't forget, is to customize your menus. Now, by default, we only went to here. I added these three because I like having my type characters available and my options available. So by going to Window, you can bring up anything that you use all the time. And the type and tables was one of them. I brought my paragraph and my character here and so you can bring as much as you want if you're a fan of styles for example you're going to use a lot of character styles 
We're going to bring these into play here and you can drop it into your text palette. And so you have your character and your character styles. Notice that you have options here as well. Your character styles are embedded in your character. So if you like it to be here and here with a couple of clicks, it's possible, but you notice that it also resides in your main option. So it's entirely up to you how you want to lay this out and you can have more than one workspace. That's awesome. That did not change with what you're looking at. It's still the same across InDesign CC, but I just want to add that since you can customize your UI and how it looks dark to light, you can still change your workspace. And then when you want to, you'll notice I have print project default. So you want to create a new workspace and you want to name it something like print or default print, whatever your workspace is, go ahead and name that and you want to capture your panel locations, which is what's happening over here. If you change anything in your menu, you can go ahead and make sure you're capturing that and then you have okay here. And then when you're taking advantage of things, for example, if you get into interactive PDFs or printing and proofing, you quickly change to that option, but you can go back to your print project default in a flash. So it's very easy to use these new features. And some of them aren't new. I'm just stressing again the importance of being able to customize your interface in InDesign, which is going to make your projects so much easier in the long run. In the next lesson, I'm going to talk to you about some new features involving the use of high resolution monitors, or perhaps you have a MacBook or something of that nature with Retina display. And that is also new in InDesign CC. We're going to talk about that in the next lesson.